guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 20,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting and please continue to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to and i'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest you can find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there say hi we'll say hi back would love to make friends uh, check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm actually going to be reacting to celebrating birthdays and plucking eyebrows so without wasting time let's get into the video ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا وإنك لتهدي إلى صراط مستقيم صراط الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور Ah, we've got another email. You're watching the mailbox. I'm Yusuf Estes. Here's one that's asking the question, can we celebrate birthdays? What about Christmas? What about Easter? and other celebrations. What about that? Hmm. Well, first of all, in Islam, we know that everything regarding worship of Allah is dictated by Allah and His Messenger, and we must not add to or take away from what's been said about that. In the matters of the life, though, just daily life, we're free to do whatever we'd like to do, except what's totally forbidden for us. If something's forbidden, then we mustn't do it. So let us now examine exactly what we mean by celebrating a birthday. When someone is born, who did all the work? The mother. Who's the one that carried the child inside of her? And who's the one that went through the labor pains? And who's the one that raised the child up? So if anything should be celebrated, it should be celebrating the mother for her hard work and her efforts. Also, another thing when you talk about birthdays, would you be talking about the sun calendar, which is now associated with the Christian religion, or would you be talking about the lunar calendar, which is associated with the Jewish and the Muslim religion? Because if you go by the sun calendar, there's 365 days, 0.4. And then if you go by the lunar calendar, there is 354 days. So the years are not going to be the same anyway. So if you said, well, it's just for fun, I want to have a cake and I want to put candles on it, well, now you got another problem. The candles on the cake actually are not coming from Christianity or Islam. They're coming from the Celtic religion, and this is the Druids many, many centuries ago, and they used to worship fire and things like that, and this candle represents that. So we're starting to really infringe on the area here of worship, and this is why birthdays, Easter, Christmas, and all the rest of it is not something acceptable in Islam because it implies a type of worship or celebration other than what's been approved by Islam. We do have two main Eids called Eidain, and that's Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr. And if you understand how that works, we've got plenty of time to celebrate in there, have a good time. And as far as some of the other celebrations people are talking about here, I wish you would talk with your imams about this and find out the reason why. Okay, we've got another one in here. It's asking about plucking the hair from the face and the eyebrows. Well, if you're altering what Allah has given you, you, you must have a really good legitimate reason for this. Talk with your imam about this and he'll explain it to you. But basically, if you have something that's uh, not characteristic of normal appearance of a human being, this is one thing. But if it's just to beautify yourself, to show off, to, to attract attention... That's absolutely haram because you mustn't be doing that uh, to, you know, attract uh, the unwanted attention of these men and so on. Well, anyhow, that's it for the mailbox. Don't forget to visit our website, islamnewsroom.com, or you can type in keywords and get more of this. Till next time, peace. Very interesting video. Um, I don't know there's actually follow a few 
one or two Muslim women YouTubers and they actually celebrate their birthday. I've seen them celebrate their birthday, the husband's birthday and I don't know so birthdays are okay but other celebrations like Easter and whatever they asked about is not I guess. I'm guessing from the way he answered this because he keeps sending people to their imams meaning this is he wants them to go to those people to figure out as to why they don't celebrate those things which is understandable 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 and i love what he said it's a mother that, that gets to carry the child for nine months it's a, it's a mother that gives birth so does it mean that it should be the mother that should be celebrated on that actual day when the child is born because now we have things like push presents is that the whole concept of push presents um but then what happens a year later on that day that you are born are you actually allowed to celebrate or should it be i don't know you let me know i think you have more knowledge than me some of you people that watch this have actually more knowledge than me concerning such matters and um he spoke about the candles and how they came to be and many people actually incorporate those not understanding where they come from uh, that's something i want to look into maybe not today but another day just to figure out what it all meant um and then when it comes to plucking the ivories um many people are going to say they do it for themselves like i'm just plucking my eyebrows because i want to like it's for me to look good or something but for the people that actually do that please hold me out because yusuf estes actually said it's haram so what does it mean are you still going to continue doing it are you not going to or are you just going to love your natural bros and go with the flow and just enjoy the way god has created you it's really tough because some people are going to say it's really tough because on both these questions he answered others already have their answers you know people are going to differ with the opinion that he gave or the answers that he gave but what do you guys actually think what are your thoughts about plucking eyebrows uh birthday cakes the candles celebrating birthdays uh, mothers that actually give birth to those children what are your thoughts on that it's something that i'd really really love to hear from you guys i always say your feedback is always welcome and yeah but otherwise cake is delicious if you find nothing wrong with celebrating birthdays of course without minus the candles and everything that's interesting and if you actually do please let me know down below and for the ladies that have um learned the art of shaping the eyebrows or plucking them i mean they really look good i really can't judge because i suck at makeup and everything else but they really look good so what does it mean for them does it mean what happens to them do they end up going to hell for plucking their eyebrows what exactly happens i really really love to know that let me know what you guys think. If there's anything you want me to react to, drop it down below and I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.